Good morning. Today is Chai Yor, 18th day of the month. We're going to count Svira. It's 138. Hayoim, Yoim, Behem, Arba, the voice, the Hamisha, Yamim, La Oimer. Today is 33 days, which is four weeks and five days of the Oimer. Lagba Oimer, everyone. Okay, we're going to learn a little Tanya. Um, let's see, what page are we on here? Page. Hmm. Page 68. So the daily reading of Kriyashma is meant to develop a love for Hashem that is totally unrestricted and that nothing can impede. Part of the reason why we put our hands over our eyes. Nothing else matters at the time when we say Shema, focused on Hashem. How is this possible? So the blessings the sages enacted to be said together with the Shema are to facilitate this type of love. The blessings that lead up to the Shema. In today's lesson, when, when does man contemplate the greatness of Hashem? During davening. When saying the blessing for Shema, which describes the greatness of Hashem. How he fills the world with his glory and how he is above the world. How can a person reach the level of godly love that nothing gets in the way, nothing obstructs. To this said, therefore, that we say the bracha of Yoytzerer, and that's why it was introduced to be recited first. For in this bracha, it's stated and repeated at length. And this meditation must be indeed be a lengthy one, taking into account all the details, the account and order of the Malachim standing at the world summit. In order to proclaim the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we say, Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Everything is nullified in Hashem's light. And we say, Listen, pronounce in fear. Makdishim. The Holy Ones, Vayimrim Biira, Kadesh Vukulo, Kalemashu, Moved on Mehem, the Enum Slavish Remakinus Gilu. And we say, Holy, 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 that Hashem is apart from them and does not include Himself in a revealed state. What does that mean? Elamin Loy Cholar is Vaidai. God's not in a revealed state, nevertheless, the whole entire world is full of Hashem, full of His glory, namely, Kinesis, His Kinesis, His Shalom, El Maila. Yisrael Malamata Kineskele Il. Kinesis Yisrael above, meaning Malchus of Atsilos, the source of the Jewish souls, which is called earth, quote unquote, and Israel on this earth below, when a Jew performs Taira and Mitzvahs, for which reason specifically this world was created. And this is the world that Hashem fills himself, goes through all the trouble, as we mentioned yesterday in the Tanya. The all say the Shtashlis in order for a year to be able to do a mitzvah. It is here that God clothes himself and reveals himself in certain particular ways, as has been explained earlier. All the above refers to the comprehension of the supernal angels, the Srafim, who are able to comprehend how God is apart from them and that only the earth is charged with his glory. <laughs> So too, we find in the bracha, the blessing of Yetzirah regarding other categories of angels whose place is in a lower world than the Serafim and who are therefore unable to comprehend how godliness is separate and apart from them. We say the Ifanim and the Holy Chayas with a mighty sound declare, Baruch Kivayid Hashem in Koymayid. Blessed be the glory of God and may it be drawn down from its place. For they neither know nor do they apprehend his place. The higher angels have some perception. The lower angels in Yitzira, above this world, they're just creations. The place in which godliness is revealed, from which reason they say from its place. They don't know what place that is. And these words, by the way, that we say, these are the songs that the Malachim sing every day to Hashem. 
We say a few lines later, for Hashem alone is exalted and holy. So the various degrees of nullification of these malachim are spoken of in the first of the two blessings preceding Shema. When a person meditates on this matter, he will begin to understand God's greatness for all the lofty angels are nullified even to Hashem. Not even. Are nullified to Hashem. The takeaway is like this. Reciting the Shema. Shema Yisrael Hashem Elekein Hashem Echad that God is one is in order that you should develop a love for God with all your heart. Now, there may be many obstacles. You will need to, and you'll be able to overcome them. You just have to continue on thinking about the greatness of Hashem and utilizing the opportunity that davening affords, and the love will follow. You want to think about the greatness of God and connect Hashem in the most intimate possible way. Certainly, Shema is the perfect time, the right time, maybe the only time throughout the day, where everything else goes by the wayside. We concentrate fully, we focus fully, no talking is allowed, we're focusing on the words, and that's when we're able to develop and continue our intense love, Hashem. Everyone have a wonderful, happy Lag Boimer. I hope everyone's joining us in Crown Heights for the great parade. We'll see you all there, and uh, have a wonderful day. Mincha is at 8.05, I believe. Thank you.